I hope you're ready. Three, two, one, go! I'll get you at the next man. Slow down, slow down. There might be children on the road. Should I put my head between my knees now? Part one was really easy. Admittedly, this is getting challenging now. This is the only one I've had to do like over and over, but it's only my third attempt so far. That was great, Okay, that time I won. Third time's the charm. Let's see, I might want to look at the replay in this one. I do like the facial expressions in this game. This is one thing I felt like uh, the Nickelodeon fighting game was missing. It's like all the animations felt way too robotic and stiff. And it's like this isn't like top quality animation in this game right here, but it still brings more personality in all of the voice acting. Simple things like watching the replay is fun. Like when characters have blank expressions on their faces and no voice acting, that's no fun. There's no personality there.
I didn't underestimate you enough. Oh, good point, did Can you slow down a little and let me catch up? Ooh. Wonder it's what it looks like for him to Everyone at Bikini Bottom has gone mad. What is Krabs' angle here? I must seize this opportunity to get my hands on those Krabby Patties. But how? Oh, I see it. I see it. It's becoming increasingly obvious. <laughs> oh wow he hasn't seen him do that since like uh, season one <laughs> you know my little yellow friend i couldn't help noticing your lessons going on here oh you did did ya i did i did i wonder how is it that a fry cook can afford such personally i like private driving better in the lessons? earlier seasons what if i told like you that you could get that license of yours for free he's just gotten too whiny over the you years were trying to trick me no i'm just an honest businessman trying to make a living i don't know i tell you what i'll pay for the remainder of your lessons or you have to do uh, is just give like me one of those scrumptious it was his birthday like yesterday or something no, like that i get it you're just trying to steal mr krabs's crabby patties again no not steal trade the answer is still no well then you better hold on to your steering wheel because i'm going to get a crabby Patty with or without your help. Mr. Scales, sign this plankton up! And watch it! Yippee! Hey! I need my bed right about now. King Crack? Wow, the game froze on me. I crashed so badly that the game crashed. Didn't think that was possible. Got him, Patrick. Three, two, one, go!
Watch out! Coming from behind! Oof! Ow! Sucker! What? I have small tires, too! What's the big idea, buddy? <laughs> yeah, some of the writing on this is pretty funny. Very suitable for the characters. Don't feel bad, I'm just quicker than you. What are you waiting for? With an occasional bit of shade, I mean, yeah, SpongeBob's a bit of a prick here sometimes. But... <laughs> That's a pretty competitive, I guess. God, I think I made it. <laughs> wow, that, that took forever. Atrocious. And I got an A? Holy shit. I didn't even get in first, but I got an A. <laughs> All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go! SpongeBob. That was surprisingly an easier level. Take me multiple tries that time. SpongeBob, you're really coming along. Just one more set of lessons, and I'll be on my way. I mean, you'll be on your way. Yeah, I, I knew this guy was a con license. artist, and I gave my it. license. I can't wait! I can't wait! I can't wait! There's still plenty of work to do. Your next lessons will be the hardest. The last part of the drive system is escape. You'll need to collect a set number of car parts while avoiding all the other drivers coming after you. You really have to work hard to not get hit. Hmm. I'll just do the opposite of what I've been doing, right? Right. Three, 
two, one, go! Woohoo, that tickles! Challenge. I was thinking this was going to be a race, but uh, well, it's just um, basically I'm playing a game of dodgeball in car form. Well, at least there don't appear to be any cliffs here. Become an asshole to SpongeBob all of a sudden. They want him dead. Why do I always get beaten up by people bigger than me? Tired sauce. Boatmobile as a weapon? Vehicle, I mean, I hope so. That'd be a cool You know novel. what would make this easier, boy, Patrick? What is it, man sponge? I know what we need. To the Marmalair! I mean, to the Shady Shoals retirement home. The last time we saw our crime-fighting duo, they were in the clutches of evil. Wrong narrator. Evil. Darn kids. Did you have to say that? Sorry. Mermaid oh, man, wow. Mermaid man. You actually Can got Ernest Borgnine while you're still alive for this? Uh, Please? How many times they never do got I him have for to the tell video you games. kids, that boat is for fighting crime, not for crazy joyriding. We're not joyriding. This might be the only no video game I can think I'm of where Ernest my license. That is boat mobile mobile license. is not for learning to drive. It's for fighting injustice, for battling ruthless enemies of freedom, for battling Unless evil. Unless those are just for circle boys. But... Oh, brother. I'll give it a wash. Promise to be careful. I won't put a scratch on it. Not a scratch. Whatever. Bring it home by four. Oh, no. bird dinner. Those are definitely new lines. At first, I couldn't tell if they were just recycling old voice clips. But it's like right there. I don't recall them ever saying those lines before. So, yeah. Three, two, one, go! So hopefully be easier. The arena is a lot wider compared to the last one. Let me go. So yeah, I just noticed I am driving the invisible mobile. That's cool. Prepare to be knocked out. <laughs> when a part that that is creative. I love that. When a part gets destroyed, you actually start seeing the vehicle. That's actually. That's actually really cool. I love that touch. It's pretty funny. It gives the implication that it has like some kind of invisible paint, and then so when it gets scratched Nine, off, you eight, actually see the car. That's cool. Seven, I like that. Six, five, four, four, yeah. They must three, get their code of painting two, at the prank store that SpongeBob got the invisible spray from. Whoa. Ouch, ouch, ouch! I don't get the point of this. They tell you not to get hit, but then they still want the other opponents to get destroyed. So, make up your mind, game. Sponge is still mobile. Oh, 
was thinking it was, it was gonna say like race and go or something. Chucky race. driver after all.
<laughs> Finally, You're slipping, uh, my little yellow that was friend. A frustrating mission. That was a frustrating, time-consuming. So again, this is gonna be one where I have to rely on not hitting people. Ugh, that's gonna be tough. Two, one, go! Win this in my sleep. Have you read the highway code? I think you forgot something. takes luck to win. I'm sure you could do better on another lesson. Wow, I still made it though. Barrel. I like Go! ones where you can like drag and drop stickers and really oh, customize how you want. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. Heck, I even like the ones where you can draw your designs as long as they're not pixelated like the ones with Animal Crossing. The circle is now complete. When I started, I was the learner. Now, I am the master. On your marks, get set, crash! Stop! Just making some room for the sponge. Stop moving so I can hit ya. I didn't realize, uh, I didn't realize the floor had a gauge and actually run out. I didn't realize that. The game didn't really tell you that to begin with. 
takes longer to refill. Ooh, yippee! Hey, Patrick, check this out! Another A ranking, so now I can go on to the next chapter. Settle whatever. down, friends. Settle down. We don't want to make the boy nervous. Come on over, son. SpongeBob, you have done extremely well in your lessons. <laughs> Why, I could not be prouder of you if you were my own boy. But you do have to finish your exams, I'm afraid, before I can give you your license to drive. Do you think you're ready? I don't know if I'm ready, Mr. Scales, but I'll do my best. Fantastic, SpongeBob. Three, two, one, go!
Shows why you're the finest fry cook in town. Three, two, one, go! Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. See? Is this the hotel? Out of my way! Come out, come out, wherever you are. Sweet smell of a sand. Thanks. Can you scratch on this? 
side too. I've got you in my sight. You can be one guess what I name is going on. Someone's trying to teach SpongeBob to drive, and from the looks of it, they're doing as well as can be expected. I can't let this happen. I'll be ruined. So Mrs. Puff is the villain of this. It's time to go and find out what's going on over there. Like I, I said, she's a bitch. Teaches SpongeBob to drive. I'll have to move and start a new driving school and change my name. Not again! Seriously, Not she deserves to be behind time. bars. I find it sad that there are people who feel sorry for Mrs. Puff when there are plenty of episodes that give you an idea that, no, she's not really a character you should be following. Feel sorry for her. They have to give her, like, a, implications that she has a dark past, so that way it justifies the punishment she receives. Some people don't see it that way, though, but... I always saw her as a bitch. Like, I felt sorry for her, like, at least, like, in the first season, but then it's, like, later on, it's like, yeah, it's like, I really grew to hate the character. Demolition Doofish, like, officially killed that character for me. It's just hard to see any episode after that with Mrs. Puff, because I still have that burning image of her wanting Spongebob to be murdered. It's like, God, that was just an awful episode. I mean, Spongebob wasn't the most likable in that episode either, but still, it wasn't... I don't think it was enough to where, yeah, he deserved to be killed. Yeah, that's one of the biggest problems a lot of people had with, like... Heck, uh, he even plagued, like, season two and three, but, uh, you know, they really lost touch of why Spongebob is a bad driver. In the very first episode with uh, Boating School, we saw how, um... Spongebob, he, he was very knowledgeable, but he was uh, just uh, too nervous when he gets, um, you know, when he actually gets onto the car. He gets so nervous that he can't concentrate. And, heck, even the opening of this video game uh, calls back to that. But too many of it just portray him as a homicidal maniac where, like, he, he literally just, like, floors it because he thinks that's how you're supposed to drive. And no, that's, you know, it, it's supposed to be, like, a mixture of anxiety and many other things that... So, yeah, it just feels very tasteless when they just portray Spongebob as just like, a, oh, he's a, a bad driver because he chooses to be, or, you know. I, I just hate how they portray him in most episodes when it comes to driving. It really ruins the dynamic they had for him. Not to say that some of the episodes haven't led to some funny ones, but like I do love the episode of No Free Rides. That one is really funny. A lot of funny moments in that. Do 
You would sell that something. Okay. So I just at least need one B and I pass. And hard to believe it's the final chapter where I'm getting all the A's. Three, two, one, go! Uh, Mrs. Puff's trying to kill SpongeBob again, huh? Why is everybody out to get SpongeBob all of a sudden? It's not fair. Ooh, the particles. Really? Uh, 
B. Okay. They make a lot of those. So okay. I think I just beat the game. We got four A's and a B, so I need three A's and two B's. SpongeBob, my boy! Well done, well done. I did it. I did it! I'm a winner! I did it! Oh, this is the best day ever! Right, what you are. The you come on over here, and let's get you that license to drive. Stand just like that. Very good. Now hold still. Friends, <clears throat> may I have your attention? <clears throat> it is my great honor to present SpongeBob SquarePants, fair citizen of Bikini Bottom, with his very own license to drive. I would like to thank all of the little people who made this day possible. <laughs> to Mr. Krabs, I thank you for allowing me to work triple overtime to pay you for the chance to take these lessons. <laughs> and Patrick, Patrick, my dear friend, and of course, Mrs. Puff. Where would I be without... Well, that's insulting. Oh, Mrs. Puff, I'm so excited to see you! SpongeBob, how exciting! <laughs> May I see your license? Don't Here know. you go, Mrs. Puff. SpongeBob, you idiot! My license! Just as I suspected. My eyes are blue? No, what I meant was... But they are blue, oh, see? Oh, yes, fake yes, ID. Yes, SpongeBob, but what I meant was... And pretty. Blink, blink. Yes, very pretty. But this license... It's beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. <laughs> yes. But I'm afraid it's not real. <laughs> You're quite the kidder, Mrs. Puff. <laughs> I'm afraid you've been had, SpongeBob. I totally saw that coming. <laughs> I trusted you! Uh, since part one. You can't catch me! So long, sucker! Come back! Let me hit you again, you crook! I'm flying! I'm flying!
no hands. To if it wasn't for Mrs. Puffs meddling around. I guess I'm not going to get my license after all. That's okay, SpongeBob. You can always take classes from Mrs. Puff again next year. Yeah, you're right. Oh, Mrs. She looks dead Puff, inside. how can I ever thank you? <laughs> no need to thank me, SpongeBob. <laughs> oh, what have I done? Okay, and that was the story mode for Spongebob Boating Bash, and, um, overall it was a fun game, but man, those last two chapters were pretty frustrating. Holy cow. Okay, that's kind of weird how uh, all the other characters have some kind of profile art, but then Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, they have these cel-shaded 3D models instead. Same with Mrs. Buff. Kind of weird. So let's see, before I quit though, I'm going to try out just some of the little multiplayer modes here. playing the roster here. I mean, I'm glad you, you got a lot of the fan favorites, though. You got the you, get, you got the main neighbors, you got Sandy, Mr. Krabs, Plankton, Mrs. Puff, and Mermaid Man, Barnacle Boy, but I feel like there still could have been a few more characters. Uh, where's Larry the Lobster, Pearl, um, you know, uh, heck, if not even any of the random fish, you gotta play as, well, you gotta see them as competitors in the single player mode. Why aren't they here? And, um, I don't know, Man Ray, there's just a lot of characters they could have included, but... Ah, oh, 
whole lot of vehicles either, but... But see, instead of playing the game, though, I'm gonna go around looking for Easter eggs. I've already played the base game, so let's see. Let's just focus on looking for, like, background objects and stuff like that. So apparently Weenie Hut and Salty Spittoon are part of Glove World? I'm surprised we never right, really got a go. proper Glove World Three, level in a Spongebob two, game. One, go. And we've had carnival levels, but Fire never Glove World in Glove Universe. Let's see, Fiery Fist of Pain. Cool. <laughs> I really am having a lot of fun. <laughs> Random carnival games. Glovey Glove. I think that was from the same episode as the Fire Crystal Game. Bike Rental Store. Arcade. I'm a very good driver. Oh, the mitten. Okay, that was the little kid ride from... Yeah, a lot of references to the um, episode of Fiery Fist of Pain. I can't remember the name of that episode, but... Um, let's see, the Trust Booth, wasn't that from the New Leaf episode? Or, no, that was a different... That was the Harbor Carnival, like the Goo Lagoon Carnival. Um, but, never mind. Okay. Okay, so Mrs. Puff's Boating School. So, there's Mrs. Puff's house, uh, the pink, um, pink uh, tin building. Yeah, it's right there. Right next to her boat. Uh, apparently she lives not too far from boating. Krusty Crab. Chum Bucket. Well, the hooks. So, yeah. There's a hooky reference, I guess. Bunch of the sea creatures. Avoid advanced darkness. Turn on your light. Pow! Shark repellent. And it shows the crazy chocolate guy. I don't even want to play right now. Leave me alone. That's mine now. Feeling lucky? Come see the brain sturgeon in the deep end. Ha ha ha. Um, I think that's the bus stop down there. Oh God, that flat out just spoils who the villain is. The, need to borrow some clams? We'll take care of you. The lone shark. It shows him with a menacing look on his face. It's like, yeah. Maybe right from the start, that guy had to be like some kind of twist villain. Jail loading tank. So, wow. Rock and bottom has rules apparently. There's a jail now. You can go it again. Okay, and with that, I think I'm gonna call it a wrap now. And so, yeah, SpongeBob Boating Bash. It's a pretty fun game. Sometimes a little frustrating and flawed, but um, overall, it's it's fun. Like I can imagine, it's more fun to play it as a multiplayer game. Uh, so yeah, that's all I have to show for now. Uh, thank you for watching. See you next time. Have a great day.